And we're back with another set of episode. I'm C, and this is Jewel. Just Jewel. And today we're going to talk about knives. Don't we always talk about knives? Though? We do most of the time. Yeah, well, this week we're doing all knives from one company, and that is Ultra X. 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 I'm not even going to comment on that. Technically, you just did. Oh. Anyways, let's get into the knives. Our first one is the Omen. Ooh, the Omen. Sounds spooky. It does sound spooky a little. However, there's nothing spooky about this knife. It has a 4.8 black G10 handle and a 3.5 inch blade uh, with a stone wash finish. Overall, this knife has a length of, what, like 8.3 if we're going to be exact and weighs about five six ounces sounds good mm -hmm. according to the ultra according to ultra x the tonto design structure makes for an exceptionally powerful tool that has the capability to puncture even hard materials mm -hmm. the omens blade is made for is it osate made from osate yeah. uh, yes. steel which shows a let's see osate high, high resistance to corrosion and wear it's also got these what do we call, you call these fullers right I, don't, I think they're just probably decorative, though. Blood groove fuller. It depends. Yeah. I don't know. I think they're, yeah. They just, don't want to go draw any blood away from decorative, so it gives it a little, you know, special look. And it's also got some jimping on the top of the spine here. Just a little bit. I guess just enough to give you a little better grip if you're holding it like this. Unfortunately, though, there is no lanyard hole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Overall, though, it's a great EDC, and for only 26 84 at Atlanta Knife, you cannot go wrong with the Omen. You forgot the dot com. Dot com. <clears throat> this knife, well, actually all of these knives that we have here come in at least mm -hmm. one other version. Yep. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. At least one. Whether it's different blade material or just different handle color. So there's a Ultra X knife out there for everyone. Indubitably. And now we're going to move on to the next one, which is the Rhino. A close relative to my mother-in-law. Really? A close relative to your mother-in-law. That's interesting. Oh. Oh, look. That, that, that's the far away photo. Here's the close up. <laughs> Far away. Just oh, I like the cane. cane. Is that a sword cane? No, it's just, By the just, way, it's just the 54 cane. $54.99. Atlantic Knife. Oh my knife. gosh, this is the cold steel. Doc, yeah. You know how many of those things we sell? A few. <laughs> Enough. Enough. More, more than there are crippled people out there, let me tell you. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Um, this knife, I kind of like flipping it. Sorry. It's just addictive. Mr. Medford would get mad. Although, it's not a Medford, so he probably wouldn't be mad. Except he would be mad because it's not a Medford. I think it's a toss-up. I'm sorry. I think he's just mad. <laughs> he probably is. Most women are. This knife has a 5.3-inch black textured fiberglass handle, a 9CR18 MOV satin finish blade with some jimping. Uh, it also has some barrel spacers to draw attention to the open-faced handle design. The blade length of this knife is mm -hmm. uh, almost four inches with a thickness of 3.5 millimeters, while the whole overall length of the knife is about 9.3 inches. Mm -hmm. Very colossal reminiscent. Finally, it weighs in at 6.4 ounces. Uh, the Rhino is a liner lock. Um, it has a flipper stud for opening. It was designed with a dedicated index uh, finger groove for excellent comfort, while the sleek lines show off the blade shape and textured handle. Lastly, it has a lanyard hole and a stainless steel pocket clip for quick and easy travel. I really like this knife. I mean, the way it fits your hand is just... It is. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. Beautiful. The people that made this knife did a better. really, really nice job. And it's only $28.84 on AtlanticKnife.com. Well, I think I'm... My favorite aspect right now is probably the Ultra X pivot cap cover. I just like how, here I'll show you guys. Right here, um, it's a, it's 
this color on some of them, and then it's uh, like a, a black finish on some of the others. The Omen one had a black. Yeah, one, but it's got an X. I, exactly. I kind of like the Savivi did, with. Uh, well, I think Wee does it too, don't they? Yeah, I don't. I on don't their know. pivot cap, I, I think remember. they do. I know Savivi does, so I figured what we would do, we would too. So I think the they have ever since the beginning. Yeah, and however, when you said you know that might be your favorite, you can't pick your favorite until the end, okay? There could still be one on the table that you like better. Really? I thought you were going to fix my chair. No, I wasn't going to fix your yeah. chair. Excuse no. me. I'm not your assistant. All right, let's move on to the yeah. next knife. Shall we? Did you get it? Yep. Ah, beginner look. <laughs> okay, but before we do, we would like to ask you guys to hit that like and subscribe button, please. And yes. while you're at it, you can also hit the notification bell. And well. share. Share, share, share. Share right. because you care. Now that we've done the begging. Yes. Let's move on to the next knife, which is the boa. First thoughts. Well, I like the box. You guys already know that. I especially like boxes like this. Um, you could probably, yeah, you could attach it to your pack, too, with these little, you know, little holes here. And there's just endless amounts of stuff you can do with the box, so. Joel. What? First thoughts on the knife. Of course, I knew that. I was just giving the lowdown on the box. You because forgot when you... to mention that the box is soundproof for excellent reverb. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's protecting the knife, okay? I get it. Perfect. Yeah. And I was just giving the lowdown on the box because when they purchase the knife, they get the box too. This way you know exactly what to expect when you get when you order this knife. Sure you did. Oh, I'm sure you did. Anyways, you guys already know what I you like know, about this knife. You can't think of me, I'll say, resort to mocking. Oh, resort to mocking. <laughs> Good job. I like the carbon fiber on here and the OD Green G10 handle. That's a very nice feature. Yes, it is. I always like the combination of the two together. It shows that they didn't just go for the basic G10 and slap it on there, but, you know, they went the little extra mile. Um, some other aspects of the knife are the 3.18 inch D2 steel satin finish blade, which has a thickness of 3.5 millimeters, like the other one. Um, it's got a 4.7 inch handle, and it's got the stainless steel pocket clip with the two holes. You know, I'm guessing because they're never, I'm never quite sure, and you email them, they don't, they respond, so I'm sorry, but I'm thinking that this is for attaching, you know, uh, it to a key ring, or maybe like a lanyard, because I'm not sure exactly why else you would have two holes in the pocket clip, unless maybe it's for that reason. Maybe just the design, or cut down on a little bit of weight. But it could have It is a knock, but they though. didn't respond. I expected them to, uh... I know. This line of lock is also 8.2 inches overall, weighs 5.2 ounces, has a lanyard hole, and finally, our favorite characteristic, you know it well, it's jimping on the flipper stud. Whoop, whoop. I still think we need like some kind of graphic, little banana dances. <laughs> okay, maybe the uh, editor will fix that up for you. Mm -hmm. uh, this knife features a pioneering sandwich hand design, which <laughs> is what makes this knife so easy to grip, and I think on the comfortability scale, I would have to give it a seven, and on the sturdy scale, a nine. Cause I feel like I could drop this and nothing would I happen. I can't think of anything but a sandwich now. Oh my gosh. All right, maybe we should start rating our knives. I think I think that I think we should. Okay, so there should be like the following categories. All right. Comfortability, mm -hmm. sturdiness, affordability, quality, effectiveness, you know, how good it performs or cuts. Mm -hmm. I think you're missing a category though. Really? Yeah. You're, you know what, you're definitely missing a category. Affordability, quality, effectiveness, cuts. No, I think I got everything. Nope, you're forgetting the most and extremely important category. Extremely important, huh? Snazziness. Yep. I might even be willing to call the style category, but you guys can call it the style category. I'll stick with snazziness. Everyone wants a knife that looks awesome. And I think it's just the a good category to have. All right. All right. All right. Last but not least, the blade of this knife was cut into a shape by precise CNC milling, um, which ensures its unmatched sharpness and durable build. Uh, the ball bearing helped to create a smooth and folding flipping design. So, overall, I'd have to give it a six or seven. Oh. We should do an overall score too. I think we should. Let's make it up as we go along. <laughs> we Anyways. are. Anyways. What do you like about it, other than the box? Well, 
I mentioned I like the pivot cap cover on this knife and the other ones, but I'm noticing that it's, well, we already said it was on all of them, so it's not, it's not a unique accent to this knife in particular, but I think it's just, it's just one I like. It's also very nice to hold. It fits pretty well, and I like the blade shape. I just, I think it's a, a great knife. Nice taunt. It's very snazzy. In fact, I give it a seven on the snazzy scale. Stealing my word there. I don't have a seven over here. Mm-hmm. But, uh... Let's move on to the bat knife. You don't, you don't need one. Four, it is right up Batman's I Mean My Alley. Is it now? It has a 4.76 inch black G10 handle, a 3.34 D2 steel satin finish blade. Um, the blade thickness is pretty much the same as the other ones, a uh, 3.5 millimeters, yes. And the overall length is 7.8. Finally, it weighs just 4.7 ounces. You know, I think what did it for me is how this knife is designed for your hand. It, it does fit here. You want? You yeah, I'll play with it. It's grooved mm -hmm. for your fingers to set on the handle just... I mean, it just rests there. These little indentations there. I know, they're like take your made fingertips. for your fingers. I don't think it really matters how big or small your hand is yeah. either. I think it'll do it either way. It makes for the knife to be more comfortable mm -hmm. and maneuverable. I think so. And there's... And a, yes, there's also some jimping on I the I won't demonstrate blade. before I cut the table. Anyways, mm-hmm. The jimping on top of the blade, as you mentioned, that's one of the well, um, it also has a blood groove along the top of the blade, uh, a lanyard hole, and a non-reversible pocket clip. Sorry, guys. But, bonus, it's only $32.84 on AtlanticKnife.com. See? It draws your attention, doesn't it? You snap it to attention. I don't need to, need to snap it. You know, you're not snapping it. You know, like a leaky boat... We're plugging it up this week, buddy. Yes, yes, we are indeed. And that's another t-shirt slogan. We gotta start, we really have to Plug start writing Plug it up like down. a leaky boat, atlantingknife.com. <laughs> now, if you steal that, I, well, it's only four if you're watching now anyway. Yeah, so. exactly. All One right. thing I want to say about this knife before we move on, the shape of the blade. Now, when I first saw this knife, while I was looking up uh, stuff we were gonna stock and things like that, mm -hmm. I saw this blade and I immediately thought malware. Cause that's like my like top favorite knife other than the fragment. It's just, I mean, if you look at it, look, can't you see the malware within the bat? You can see it. I can see oh, it. I can see how it has some characteristics similar exactly. to the malware, sure. It reminds me of that one. Well, I mean, just a little bit, but our next knife. Oh, making me move on. Is the Ripple. It has an olive. That was his chair. It's always doing it. <laughs> olive G10 handle okay. with a length of 4.76 inches and a 3.54 inch blade. With D2 steel, mm -hmm. a satin finish. Yes. And it's a liner lock that weighs about 5.2 ounces. Mm -hmm. And I think it was, what, 8.2 inches overall. It's also got some jimping on the bottom of the handle and the top handle and on the blade spine here. So it's kind of fully jimped. Can I, can I say it like that? Fully jimped. Fully jimped. Or did it go with jimped out like we've been doing? I think Jeff works out. Make a little rap song out of it. <laughs> Keep an onion ripple hanging from my backside. It's also got a non-reversible pocket clip. Um, and I think I realized why they call this the ripple. Because the handle mm. has the ripple effect. Plus, it is an extremely well-priced knife. Oh. For only $32.84 on... AtlanticKnife.com You can't see it so many times. I mean... <laughs> Now, yeah. let's rip out the next knife, which is... No, 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 no ripping. I got plenty more duct tape. Wait, no, we do not have enough tape for you to tape. Can you imagine this whole tape, table covered in the tape? I think we should start sewing it up with pieces of thread. Just random <laughs> yeah, patches yeah, of colors. clothing. Oh, look, Grab, Crispy left like, his hey, jacket here. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Oh we'll take gosh. the camera girl and just pull that little string hanging from the back of her shirt oh until we get gosh. enough to wrap it through the needle. That does not sound... No, no. All right. Our next knife is a bird on a deserted Mexican highway. Mm. And if you come up with chupacabra, you must first realize that that's not a bird. 
And it's not real. Whoa. Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. Mm. What oh are they keeping gosh. over there at Area 51? I don't know. You hear about the raid, though. It's been <laughs> hear about around it. Here I'm drinking. leading it. <laughs> it already happened. Did it? Yes. Oh, I thought it was next week. No. <laughs> Same thing happened at my wedding. Oh, All my right. gosh. That, that was not a mother-in-law joke, but it was pretty close. You want close. one of those? That's pretty uh, close. The next knife, the vulture. Ooh. Do you want to do the specs? Uh, I think I? I'll do them, okay? If you no. don't mind, take away your She's temptation. five foot tall, 108. Oh, I'm sorry. 108. I was talking about mother-in-law. Your mother-in-law. That's yeah. you're darn right you're doing right your mother-in-law. Let's get ready to tell everybody she wears a 2X. I, I'm not, I don't discuss women's weight and men's per size. That's a bad idea. Okay, <laughs> shh. This knife has a black G10 handle with a length of 4.7. Um, a D2 soap blade that measures about 3.4 making the overall length 8.2. Uh, it has a lanyard hole for some, you know, outdoor on the pack carry, um, some jimping on the flipper stud, two barrel spacers, and a non-reversible pocket clip. Lastly, it weighs 5.8 ounces. Wow, that's a lot. It certainly was. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead. we're gonna ask this question on this one. What do you like about this knife? What do I like about it? Yes, what do you like about this knife? Several things. I like how the pocket clip mm -hmm. has an indentation for your finger as you put your hand around the knife. I like oh. how it's contoured to your hand, the choil, oh. the blade shape. I, I am fond of that also. And I like the flipper. I like a lot about this knife. How uh, about you? I kind of Did I like leave you anything to like? Yes. I like the the uh, the design on the handle, the little like grooves that go along it. I mean, it's not super smooth. Because I, I like the smooth knives, but when it gets wet, it's not as easy to hold as one that's got texturing on it. And this one's got some. And I like the pivot cap, like, as I mentioned before. And you know what? I think I like the blade, chip on the, the blade shape on this one, too. Mm -hmm. Well, to be honest, I believe that most of the knives were good this week. Mm -hmm. I haven't really found one that... I just wouldn't use yeah. anyone would make a perfect uh, ADC for me or you guys. I feel the same. I mean, I haven't met an Ultra X I haven't liked yet. However, I will have a overall snazziest knife by the end of the show. I, I guarantee you. Well, then I guess we should move on. Oh, Up next good. on the Ultra X is the Cobra. Another Shut form me. that my mother-in-law takes. You should make it hiss. You should have brought a picture of Medusa. Oh. I considered, but I thought that was just a little too... That's good, wasn't it? Wow. Yeah. Wow, I all can... right. Okay, you know what? I can mine. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. Oh. Shouldn't Medusa it have been... will be right there. Shouldn't it have been green? No. Oh, wow. It doesn't have to be green, guys. We got to switch jobs. <laughs> we don't have this. We don't have to switch jobs. I, I kind of want to do yours. Oh yes, I get to hold the nice signs. The no, cool I, mean, I want to do the editing part. I don't do that. No. I I have some say. Like I'll tell I'll tell him or her. I'm trying to keep them anonymous. They want to stay anonymous. Like oh, can you put a Medusa head there while I hold up? They'll be like, yep, I can. Anyways, you aren't lacking in the other the uh, department of mother-in-law jokes, are you? No, nah, she's been prime this week. I mean, I could easily ham hammer out another one every second. I mean, just refrain because some people don't want to hear about uh, those problems. Ah. I mean, they watch our show to escape the harsh reality, not relive it over and over. Aren't you living it over and over and over every day? Yeah. I'm not a silent sufferer. We know that. Anyways, this next knife is a... Desert Tan G10 handle. Ah, uh, it's got a 440C steel satin and stone wash finish blade, which is almost three inches long. There's also two barrel spacers. As, as well as a lanyard hole. <sighs> Unbelievable. See what I gotta work with? The overall length is 7.12 inch. The blade comes in at about 57 to 59 on the HRC. Wow. Uh -huh. It weighs 5.2 ounce. There is a groove on the handle to give you a better grip. Into the I was thinking groove is in the heart. Oh, okay. Yeah. And oh, I don't want to move on. I 
Did you notice that it has like this little indentation here too for your hand? I know somebody's been using it. Yeah, it does have a little <laughs> bit of marks on it. It's a bad might, habit around here, this, isn't it? <laughs> it might be Jacrispies. We, we pick on that man too much, don't we? Well, he don't take much stuff. You know, he don't get a lot of swag. I guess we would call it. True. Yeah. So. But yeah. Anyways, now we only have one more knife. One more to go, guys. And it's the most terrifying, jaw-dropping, mystifying, so awesome you can't hold your <gasps> and wonder. Knife that puts all other fearsome name knives to shame. And that is the Ultra X Hugger. Wait a minute. The Hugger. We are excellent at he building things up, the night. aren't we? Machete in hand. He's the Hugger. <laughs> it didn't work. We build you up only to let you fall, but hey, that's how you She comes to grow. the table with nothing but chicken and dumplings. She's the mother-in-law. Dun, dun, dun. Wow. All right, we all got signs of her day. That's all how right. you grow, though, guys. Come on. Yeah, that's it. It's a heavy and cruel world out there. Wow, that's just uh, slightly exasperating in here. Exactly. I think it's a good trade-off. Mm. Anyways, let's get to the knife. Uh, the hugger has an olive green G10 handle and a 3.5 inch 440C steel blade with a black titanium finish. That makes the uh, blade come in at about 57, 59 on the hardness scale. The overall length of this line of lock is just a hair wow. over just eight inches a hair there. with a lanyard hole and a black pocket clip to allow for dual carry. Lastly, there are some barrel spacers and you guessed it. Blade jumping. Blade jumping. This is my favorite jumping so far. Jumping and in the house. And I think I might give it, I'm going to give it a 7 on the snazzy scale. I thought you'd go higher than that. Nope, it's a 7. Uh, if it's nicely in the hand, it's not too heavy. In fact, this could be the knife that cut Brett Michaels. It's that sharp. I didn't have uh, poison, but I had Def Leppard. I got this from Jules office. Maybe later you can pour some sugar on it. No. All right. And it's only $29.84 on AtlantaKnife.com. Like a dog whistle, buddy. Like a dog whistle. Oh okay. We've reached the end of the show, so that means we can now tell us, tell you guys, and tell each other our favorite knives of the week. All right. Go on. Me first? Yes. Mine is the Ripple. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And do you know why it is? Because it reminds you of another knife? Yes, but it's actually better. Is it? The other knife had a, had what we call a crappy handle. Air quote. <laughs> yeah, it was actually named the same thing. It's what made me remind me of it. But I like the narrowness of this knife. It has a small curvature to the handle that mm -hmm. fits my hand nicely. It's got the jimping. Amen. The choil. Ah. And the indentation of the pocket clip. Of the pocket clip. Wow. It's D2. Mm -hmm. And what was it? 30 bucks? Mm -hmm, just about. Yeah, can't beat that. It could have had a deep carry pocket clip, but. Oops. I went wow. backwards on that one. Wow. But that's all right. Now we know how uh, someone ended up with stitching now. How about that? Well, that's great. But not as great as the snazziest knife on the table. The bat. The bat. Yes. I don't like it just because it reminds me of my nickname, Batman. But. I love the, the, the shape of the handle is just really nice. It fits really nice. Mm -hmm. I like the reminiscent blade of the malware because the malware is one of my favorites. And I like the price. Cheap. What was this one? Was this one also like almost like 30? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Tweety Bird. Exactly. I like the jimping. I like the blood groove. I, I, I really cannot say that I don't dislike anything on this knife. Nothing. I mean, maybe if I had to choose one thing, I would like it to come in like green or blue. I mean, it might come in green. I can't quite remember if this one has a version in green. I don't think it does. But that's the only... Why do you take that away? It's nice. I like it. But you did a good job. Good uh -huh. pick. I just squished another bug. Yeah. Just flying all around. Like always, that concludes the show. What? <laughs> we would like to thank you all for watching. The few that made it this far. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't even like my mother-in-law. <laughs> she can't even work the internet. What is the internet? Allison, define internet. 
And we'd like to ask you guys to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Reddit, Pinterest. Okay, I'll stop. She knew I was coming back twice, didn't she? And Instagram! And Instagram! <laughs> and Instagram. And Please, don't forget guys. to share. Because you care. That's right. We would also like you guys to just explode, blow up, incinerate, whatever you think works. Those like, share, and subscribe buttons. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. We're almost there. Come on, guys. You have to do this for us, okay? We won't be able to continue the show. He will shut us down, I am telling you. 63 views on the last video? Maybe 70? Come on. It's all right. Guys, no, no, no. Hundred. We have ones with 500, guys. You've got to help us. We have ones with thousands. I, I'm begging now. I'm begging. Yeah. So please like, share, and subscribe. With that, only a tad pathetic display, I'm C, and this is... Oh, well, I guess I better just, you know, embrace the patheticness. Begging for subscribers, Joel. We are so close to a thousand subscribers. It's insane. Okay. Wow. Hey, guess what? It's, just... it's like your favorite knife. The bat. Wow. That's... That would be cooler. That, that looks like a wobble board. It's like I hear so. I, I'm, whoop, I'm unfamiliar whoop, whoop. with a wobble board. What do you use? It makes with? that sound. Oh, you're talking about somebody taking the, some yeah. aluminum? It, yeah. All right. Wow. Well, I said I was C, and this is Just Insane Jewel. And we are... Signing off. Signing off.